Formula One, the greatest show in motor racing, is all set up, ready to go. Tons of high sensitive freight, everything prepared for the new season. I think the 2012 racing season in Formula One is going to be very, very exciting simply because the teams have moved together. Because of the, the change in rules and regulations, um, I don't think there will be one dominating car and therefore racing is going to be even more exciting than last year. A feast for the eyes, for fans and drivers, the look and the design of the new cars. Definitely looks sexy. It looks quite impressive. I think it looks very good. It looks very neat. That's the packaging of the 2012 generation of Formula One cars. On the money or not, it's all in the eye of the beholder. Uh, the first impression has been very good and uh, I think I like the innovative ideas that uh, the car has and uh, I think all the Ferraris are uh, beautiful cars. Responsible for the changes is the rule book. It has a decisive influence on the shape of the new cars. Most striking of all, the nose, lowered from 650 millimeters to 550. In the event of a side-on collision, the point of impact is below the cockpit opening. The regulations around the front of the nose have driven the height of the nose down. Our aerodynamic philosophy has always been to clear, to create space under the nose, so the two are in conflict. So we're trying to lift the nose up, and the regulations are trying to push the nose down, and we end up with this little slither of nose that sits in the middle, that aesthetically is not the nicest looking nose in the world. Let's be honest, who cares what it looks like? True beauty, after all, comes from within. The handling is the key. It actually felt very good from the start because it's very agile, drives well and responds well, so certainly a good feeling. Another important rule change, blowing exhaust gases onto the diffuser is banned. The exhaust tailpipes have to exit on the side of the car's body. That prevents exhaust gases being used for aerodynamic purposes. RB7, as I said, was designed around the exhaust. Um, this year, knowing that that exhaust position from last year would be taken away, we've had to go back and look at how we had developed the car through the last summer between one and two years with the side exit exhaust and try and, if you like, make sure that routes that we'd taken that were only suitable for that exhaust position we now have to reevaluate. No sport in the world experiences rule changes as often as Formula One. New challenges promise hotly fought races on the track, not least because this year there are six world champions on the grid, the pinnacle of motorsport, always one step ahead. It's the highest technology in motor racing on, on this planet. Uh, it has actually the highest level of driver performance in the world, and it is a true world championship and that just shows you uh, what a level of excellence this championship has reached and it's rejuvenating year after year there is new rules and regulation there's new drivers there's new teams there's new race tracks and that's what makes it so incredibly interesting fans can look forward to 20 thrilling grand prix races on five continents and Formula One is back in the USA for the first time since 2008. Austin, Texas is the new Grand Prix destination for teams and drivers. Fascinating Formula One. Everything is all set for the new season.